Well, we're back doing the boat. I'm not sure what part this is going to be listed under. Plan is today. I'm going to get this fiberglass. What I'm going to probably do is one or two layers, maybe do a cross strand mat and then like a biaxial glass mat. It's basic to cover these holes. So I'm going to put two layers on this side. Then we will start working to build the transom up. We've got two layers of, I think it's 18 mil marine ply. There'll be glass in between and there's also going to be gravical bonding paste. It's structural bonding paste in between each layer. So that's the plan today. This is, this is ready to go on. I will be showing the steps as I do it. We have to acetone this like crazy, get it all nice and clean. And then we'll be laying some cross strand matting in all of this. I may do it in pieces rather than one big piece. Let that start to tack up. As it starts to tack up, we'll go on with the cross strand matting, um, the biaxial matting. It's more like a crisscross pattern. The cross strands all over the place. The biaxial is more of a structural matting. Uh, the, the cross mat is more of a, like a build up matting. It's not so structural. So yeah, we'll crack on with this today. Then we will be doing some work on the outside to fill all these holes here and all these holes, patching them up basically from the outside. So it'll be done properly and yeah, get back on with this boat build and we're gonna get it done and turn around as quick as I can now. I want to get it finished. It's just dragging out too long. Let's get on with this. What we're gonna do is acetone the transom before we put any wood on it or any fiberglass, I mean, sorry. Basically, need to get it really, really clean, get rid of any dust, any grease, anything like that. This is Polycraft Industrial Acetone. It's dangerous stuff, it's flammable. You don't really want to be breathing the fumes. You need to really have a respirator on with the proper filters in it. This stuff is strong as anything. I've brought all my fiberglass stuff from MB Fiberglass. I'm not sponsored, I've paid for everything myself, but they're a good company, the prices are good, and the, the quality of the stuff's good as well, and the delivery's pretty quick. So yeah. Let's get it cleaned up. We'll just wipe the fiberglass on. This has all been acetone now. Generally, your hands, my hands are a bit dusty and dirty, but you can rub it like that and you have no dust on your fingers. That's what you want. This. It's clean, it don't look clean, but it is clean. There's nothing coming off. Yeah, there's no dust on there now. That's what you want. So this is ready for fiberglass. So what I'm gonna do is mix up a batch of resin. Res what I'm gonna do, mix up a batch of resin. I'm gonna cut the glass ready. So cut the glass first. Make sure you like do a mock test, fit it, make sure it fits. Mix the resin and we'll get it on then. Let's crack on with it. Grinding back a lot of these edges here, get it nice and sharp again, and this will have a layer of wood in there, and so will the rest. 
pretty much it's just to cover the holes we've got. Gives me something to work to on this side, on the outside, and yeah, it's just a better finish really. Um, I might add this video into another one, I'm not sure. It may just be a little short, couple of minute video on its own, just to show you back doing the boat and getting on with it. But yeah, this is it. Next stage for this is grind it back, get it nice and tidy, cut the wood, and we'll start getting the layers of transom in. Hope that's gonna be next week. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on and I'll see you later.